Our spirits are intoxicated. Our spirits are drunken and staggering, so much so that we haven't even been able to rest our bodies good because something has been leaping on the inside of us. Stop, oh God, the well that lies within us and let it overflow. Release us to our destiny. Great God that you are. I thank you for being real. Shut up, oh shut up. Hey! In the name that is exalted of the... Woo! In the name that is exalted above every name, somebody shout, Jesus! As soon as we came out from the session, uh, the Spirit of the Lord just fell right in the middle of the group. Three or four ladies began to start lifting their hands and, and God began to start dealing with them and the entire group just circled around them to pray with them, to support with them. I heard all the noise and I'm sound like, it sound like a noise in the camp. Let me go find the noise. The guy here and all my brothers and sisters just praising our Father. Hallelujah. God is good. Several different people. God fell on them and began to start doing some great things in their life. Got people laid out on the floor, different intercessors coming around. Well, I felt something from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. The ears tingling that I never even felt before. And I don't really, like I said, I don't even really know what all went on in that session. I wasn't in that session. I was in another session and I came around. It's the draw of the Holy Spirit that draws you, you know. Dr. James took her time and the, the, the class was called Sculpting the Scripture. She sculpted that. I mean, she went, she went under, under layers, not and and not just so much of the word, but under layers of deliverance. As she went in deep in the word, you could just feel it deep in your spirit. I'm afraid to move, so I've been standing here about 15 minutes because I could feel it now. And so the closer I came to it, it was almost like my knees were going to buckle. And I said, no, that's a real deal. I believe when people come into atmospheres like this, there's a hunger. Um, people didn't come just for a conference. I believe many people gathered here in this place because they're hungry for a move of God. And we were brought here for a conference, but it's clear that revival is breaking out. Which started with just a couple of women coming out of the session from Dr. Cynthia James, praising the Lord and the Holy Spirit moved. And I guess at that point, maybe hundreds, uh, if not thousands came together to just worship our Lord and Savior right outside here in this foyer. As you can see, there's a gentleman still uh, praising at this very moment. The Lord has certainly moved here today and he will continue to move throughout this conference. We encourage you to stay with us.